Hi there, it's Paul Carman with you once again from The Core Gurus. This is a, a little follow-up video really, um, no playing involved, it's just to show you the procedure of saving a sound or a setting to a keyboard set. Now in some of the videos we've shown you how to uh, make little edits to sounds, put effects on, we've showed you how to mix sounds together. When you do spend a little bit of time doing this, you don't want to have to do that every single time you want to use that sound. So once you've created something that you think, yeah, I'm, I'm going to use that again and again, it's best to save it as a keyboard set. Now, uh, if you remember in one of the previous videos um, when we looked at Master Effects, we, I created a sound that I called Ambient uh, Acoustic. Uh, I've got it back up here. And that was just by putting some nice reverb and delay on the sound. Um, because that's a sound I'm probably going to use quite a few times really in different settings, I'm going to save it to a keyboard set and this is how we do it. Right up in the top right hand corner of our main screen you'll see the little pull down arrow. If you press that, the top option which is illuminated says right keyboard set to library. And that's what we want to do so we choose that option. Now, in this case, I've already named it, but you have got the option at this point of, of giving it a name. If it's the first time you're saving it, you need to give it a name. And to do that, you just press where the, the T is for text and you type in using the little onboard uh, keyboard that pops up. You then have to decide which location you're going to save it to. And that's as simple as pressing the select button. Make sure you're on user. Uh, at the top here because that's where you're going to store your sounds and just find basically uh, an empty slot. That may not always be the case because you, you may have a sound in there that you think actually I don't want that one anymore. You could overwrite it just by selecting that particular square. Um, but I'm going to choose the first available one which is user 11 and I'm on page 3 so I just select the location. You then press the exit button to go back to the little pop-up menu that we had just a second ago. And it now says we're going to save a sound called Ambient Acoustic to User 11, Keyboard Set 21. Um, the User 11, obviously you saw that down the, the um, menu at the side there, down the side of the screen. Keyboard Set 21, why is it 21? Well. We've already filled two pages and there are eight settings available or eight locations on each page. So that's 16. We've got half a page done here, which is another four. So that's 20 slots already used. So the next one is position 21. So that's where the 21 comes from. If you're happy to save it there, we press OK. You accept by saying, are you sure? Yes. And that is now located. So if we go to our user bank here and we go to user 11 on page 3, there is our sound called Ambient Acoustic. Um, it's there for instant recall in the future. Um, what you need to remember is when you're saving something to a keyboard set, it may have a split. So in this case, I've got a lower voice um, on and when you select that sound, it will reselect that lower sound. It may be that you've just got a piano voice that you use across the whole of the keyboard. Um, it may be you've got three or two sounds layered together. Just one little tip um, that I would suggest um, that you actually do is on a sound like this, this ambient acoustic, yes, I'm only using upper one. But when you save it as a keyboard set, it does recognize the other sections, even though they're not actually switched on at the time. So give a little bit of thought to maybe a couple of sounds that you could bring in with that guitar and make sure they're pre-selected, but they're muted out. And you can bring them in then during your playing and it makes far more use of that one setting. So that's just a brief look and I hope that clears up um, the problems one or two of you have been having on how to save your settings to the keyboard set. Mm -hmm.